a big shift is coming to Tesla. Tesla will be shifting all standard range electric vehicles to LFP batteries to ensure supply, but would that have any connection with the Fremont production halt or was earlier said that? According to a tweet from the company's CEO Elon Musk, Tesla is shifting their standard range car batteries from lithium ion to iron cathode like LFP batteries. Musk cited concerns with nickel and the challenges of scaling lithium ion production production as the reason for the move. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Harayan. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and ring us the notification bell. Please give us thumbs up if this report is helpful. So in July 2020, Elon Musk asked uh, mining companies to mine more nickel, if you remember. That's what the future 4680 battery cells will need. In fact, that is what all car manufacturers are willing to go electric will demand. The impact on supply is just around the corner, said Tesla, has to avoid supply shortages as much as possible. This is why all standard range cars will have LFP batteries, Elon Musk tweeted. Responding to a tweet, Elon said, Nickel is our biggest concern for scaling lithium ion um, cell production. That's why we are shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode, plenty of iron uh, uh, and lithium. So, um, like I said last year, Musk uh, said that he believes the energy density of iron phosphate batteries have improved enough that Tesla can already switch them and uh, and produce che the, the, uh, cheaper batteries that are not only cheaper and cobalt-free batteries uh, and and they're also that they can do that in their lower-end vehicles. Uh, then CEO of uh, Tesla, Musk, indicated that using the use of LFP batteries also frees up more more battery supply of lithium ion chemistry cells using nickel cathode for Tesla's other vehicle programs. You know, nickel is very expensive and uh Cobalt mining cobalt is very expensive and, and difficult and comes with questionable mining practices. Um, now, in October 2020, if you remember, Tesla started producing a the Model 3 Standard Range Plus out of Gigafactory Shanghai with LFP battery. Uh, this was a huge move and significant move uh, since Tesla also started exporting this new version um, uh, Model 3 outside of China for the first time. But if you remember, there there were some concerns with this. Like I reported in December to, uh, 7, 2020, that the first Tesla Model 3 vehicles from the Chinese Gigafactory in Shanghai using LFP batteries have now reached customers in Germany, and owners, uh, some owners, were complaining of range and charging problems related to cold weather. And uh, and I said that some observers are still hoping for a software update that will bring improvements to the made in China. China Model 3s with cheaper LFP batteries, but after the first impressions, it looked like it looked like Tesla may have taken a big step in the wrong directions with a revived battery technology. But it was only after the first impression because recently we learned uh, in a new video from Germany that uh, a new software update has solved this issue. And since October last year, the smallest version of the Model 3 has been Standard Range Plus SR Plus with a battery made from cheaper LFP cells and there was a quote in, um, from Wikipedia explaining that the lithium iron phosphate battery or LFP battery is a type of lithium ion battery using LIFEPO -E uh, actually LIFEPO as the cathode material and the graphitic carbon electrolyte uh, electrode with a metallic backing as the anode the energy density of LIFEPO um, is lower than that of lithium cobalt oxide chemistry and also has a lower operating voltage. But now Elon Musk thinks that those batteries have advanced as much that Tesla can uh, already use them in their lower end vehicles and apparently that cold weather charging issue has been solved uh, because of uh, because of a recent software update um, uh, i think electric reported on that a couple of days ago you can check it on their website now in the united states uh, uh, tesla has still been producing the model 3 standard range with lithium ion battery cells with nickel cathode but now elon musk appears to be indicating or saying or writing on twitter 
that there will be a shift in the United States states as well. Now, when discussing battery resources available on Twitter uh, last night, yesterday, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla is quote unquote shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode. That means all standard range car, uh, 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 cars, not only Model 3, but uh, according to him, it will apply to all Tesla standard range cars to an iron cathode shift. Here's the quote. Nickel is our biggest concern for scaling lithium ion cell production. That's why we are shifting standard range cars to an iron cathode, plenty of iron and lithium. There is no nickel. That's a nickel-free battery. Nickel is expensive. Uh, mining that many nickel is difficult because they, uh, Elon is right. He's looking forward in the future because as more companies announce their shifts to electric uh, car production, they all will need these batteries. That means there will be more need for nickel, more need for cobalt. And uh, the industry, not only Tesla, but also the industry needs to think of ways what they can do to make the batteries from materials um, that can be easily mined and are plenty available. This is why we're looking at uh, new batteries like solid state batteries. We're looking at uh, future graphene batteries and future other ways uh, that can uh, produce, that can power our electric cars. Now, speaking of Elon's tweet, that comment seems to imply from him on Twitter, uh, the shift is ongoing and therefore it could expand beyond just vehicles produced in China. Uh, Notes Electric saying lately the CEO has been expressing concerns about the availability and price of nickel. Uh, if you remember during Tesla's en uh, earnings call in July 2020, Musk pleaded with mining companies to increase their nickel production. You know what Musk said then? He said, well, I'd, I'd just like to re-emphasize any mining companies out there. Please mine more nickel. Okay. Wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel and uh, don't wait for nickel to go back to some long, some high point that you experienced some five years ago, whatever. Go for efficiency, obviously, environmentally friendly nickel mining at high volume. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way. So hopefully this message goes out to all mining companies. Please get nickel. So you can see how Tesla is pleading on this. But now I see you know, if, if Tesla is already shifting its production slowly to LFP batteries, which is nickel free, battery, free batteries, then uh, the, the, this uh, plead may soon become obsolete because um, mining nickel is difficult. Uh, Volkswagen needs that, uh, Ford needs that, Mercedes needs that, uh, although recently they have their new C-Class, uh, which is an IC car kind of surrendered uh, surrender to Tesla there in that market, um, uh, market uh, segment. But, you know, all car companies that produce electric cars and this number is going to grow huge in the next five to ten years in this decade um, uh, th then, then therefore the need for nickel will grow this is why Tesla smartly is looking in, uh, into other ways of producing electric car batteries without nickel. Uh, right now, off the top of my head, I don't know whether the 4680 batteries are L, um, uh, lithium ion or LFP. Do they need nickel? If you guys know, please let me know. Explain to me in the comment section below, please. And, um, you know, nickel prices have been surging lately because of this high growing demand from the electric vehicle industry and are up six. 16% notes electric uh, this year and it is partly due to demand like I said from electric car batteries and this demand is going to go higher higher and higher unless the automotive industry comes up with new ways to uh, build electric vehicle batteries 
and I don't know what solid state batteries do in terms of do they use nickel or no if you guys know let me know and battery cells with nickel cathodes have more energy and power density than cells using iron phosphate hence that's why tesla is only using the ladder in shorter range electric vehicles because those lfp batteries are not yet as efficient as the ones uh, using um, uh, um, uh, nickel cathodes so let me know friends your thoughts this is armin harian from torquenews.com please uh, like us this video if it was information was helpful give us thumbs up it helps us very much and also um, subscribe to our channel if you are here first time we provide daily torque uh, uh, tesla and electric vehicle news and have great uh, discussions if you know in the comments and um, god bless you everyone see you soon in our next report and when you subscribe please also click on the um, uh, ring notification so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage later today. See you soon, friends. Have a great day.